Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Sports Update. Hi, I'm Allie Stein and this is Sports on Location. And I'm Joan Wayski and this is your weekly sports update. Members of both the men's and women's basketball teams are being honored for their efforts in the 2015 to 2016 season. Last week, senior Megan Martin and sophomore Tyhe Monroe were named to the Eastern College Athletic Conference Division III South All-Star Second Team. Martin was named Most Valuable Player in the CSAC Championship after leading the Cavaliers with a career-high 31 points. Monroe was named to the All-CSAC First Team after his season, which has been called one of the best in program history. Monroe paired 18.4 points and 15.3 rebounds per game. The sophomore additionally set a program record of 414 total rebounds in the 2015-2016 season, being just the second player in CSAC history to capture more than 400. The men's lacrosse team is on their first three-game losing streak since 2005. Over the weekend, the Cavaliers traveled to the State University of New York at Cortland and despite a strong effort, fell 16-14. Strong performances came from the freshman class as Jordan Krug and Matt Laparo led the Cavaliers with seven points each, while goaltender Riley White recorded ten saves. The Cavaliers will face the Newman University Knights at Edith Robb Dixon Field tonight at 6.30 p.m. This will mark the Cavaliers' first game of the 2016 season in conference league play. They are in the running for their 16th consecutive Colonial States Athletic Conference title. Some exercise science majors have become personal trainers for a few faculty and staff members as part of their on-campus classes. The students get hands-on professional experience and the trainers get in shape for summer. I wanted to do this program uh, because I wanted to get back in peak shape. Um, you know, growing up, I was very athletic, played basketball, football, track and field. Uh, but you develop bad habits uh, in undergrad and also in grad school. And, you know, that kind of transitioned over into my work career. So I just wanted to get back in shape, you know, not for vain reasons, but more so for health reasons. We have almost a total of a month of classes. It's two, it's six to seven periods where we go through the seven components of program design. I think it helps working one on one with people. Um, it definitely gives you that sense of like, not really authority, but like kind of like being in charge and like taking responsibility and coming up with different like personalized plans for people. My goals for this program is honestly just to drop a few pounds. Uh, to lean back up a little bit, uh, but most importantly to incorporate nutrition uh, into m uh, my daily regimen. Class is teaching me a lot of different things that I could do um, like with the major. So I never really personally thought about doing personal training, um, but after doing this project with a trainee, it really helps me to see that it's an option that I like. So immediately now I already have a waiting list for next year. I only have usually 15 to 20 students and when I send out my email to the faculty and staff who's interested in the personal training project, I get 60, 70, 80 replies immediately. Count me in this year, count me, I really want a trainer. They're getting a, fur, a free personal trainer and they're helping the program. So most of them really love it. Looks like a great learning experience for the trainer and trainee. Women's lacrosse suffered a tough loss last night against the College of New Jersey. The loss has dropped the Cavaliers to five and three on the season. Be sure to head to Edith Robb Dixon Field this Saturday to see both your men's and women's lacrosse teams in action. The women will start the day at 12 p.m. with a game against Rosemont College, and the men will follow at 3 p.m. when they face Keystone. A team from right down the street did not disappoint this past weekend. Villanova University is heading to the Final Four after beating top-seeded Kansas 64-59. to The win brought the opportunity for the team to head to the Final Four in the March Madness Tournament, making this their first appearance at this stage in seven years. The number two seed Villanova made eight foul shots in the last 33 seconds of the game, four by point guard Ryan Archie Diacano, who secured the win for Nova on his 22nd birthday, giving him the gift of a lifetime. We wish the team all the best as they take on Oklahoma this Saturday in Houston, Texas. The game is set for 6.09 p.m. Spring training for the Phillies is in full swing. The team's current spring training record is 14 and 10 since they started their first game back in February. The battle for the final spot in the starting rotation is officially over after pitcher Adam Morgan recently learned that he'll be put in the bullpen instead. Vince Valesquez will be the fifth starter for Philadelphia. The Fightin' Phils will take the field for opening day on Monday, April 11th against the San Diego Padres at 3.05 p.m. So Jill, how exciting is it that a team right around the corner made it this far in March Madness? I think it's so crazy. I can't wait to watch them on Saturday. Me too.
Thanks for watching Sports on Location. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Allie Stein. And I'm Joan Oiski. Have a great week, Cabrini.